so we are writing it as 0 x power 0 it is so nothing is there then same way 10 x cube then 9 x square then 5 x power 1 so this is how you represent programmatically so that is what we are getting it here in get poly okay so now um, in this coding what we are going to do is yes so here if you see this program uh, this is the function which do the addition okay so in this add poly whatever we are receiving through the get poly the poly 1 and poly 2 let us take in this these two these two um, polynomial after receiving we pass it to the function now initially we are uh, three variables i j k all those made to be zero because they are used to traverse from uh, like this if when i equal to zero it access this when i equal to one this then i equal to two like this and so on so in order to move from one uh, structure variable uh, array structure variable to another structure we use that uh, this local variables then polynomial p3 here we are going to add and put it in p3 this is a nothing but the third polynomial which is the result of these two addition of these two then we are assigning a local variable n1 where we get this value already this should have we have stored it while getting the poly see here when getting the poly we assign the number of terms so what is the number of terms that is assigned in the respective uh, object instant of that object so what we do is here so when we so that p1 dot n we get the number of terms and assign it to the local variable n1 again same way p2 we get the number of terms in p2 because since it is a uh, instance of the class automatically while getting itself we have assigned the number of terms to n of this particular instance so now we assign it to local variable n2 then p3 dot n initially it is 0 because so far we have not added anything so the third polynomial is having the number of terms is 0 now let us have a look at this while loop so what we are doing in the while loop see if you see here well uh, for the easy reference i have placed here post uh, pasted here in this slide while i is less than n initially uh, the i value will be let me write it here initially the variable value for i is equal to 0 uh, and then j equal to 0 and k equal to 0 now now after this uh, let us execute this while loop when this while loop is executing so since i is less than 0 then n is nothing but according to this 1 2 3 3 terms for p1 it is 3 that is what we have assigned in n1 and so n1 is this and n2 we have assigned the second polynomial number of terms that is 1 2 3 so that is what we have assigned now so in this while loop while i is less than n1 if you see this while well, i is let me see here initially okay let me write it here uh, initially i is uh, 0 and j is also 0 already we have seen that here i is 0 j is 0 now n is nothing but here uh, n1 is 3 and n2 equal to 3 now this is what according to this statement now when you go through here well i is less than n1 i is already 0 so till it reaches 3 maximum of that or j is there. so if anything fails it comes out the while loop breaks so let us go through the algorithm 
so p if p1 is p1 dot t of i if the first polynomial zero i is zero now power is equal to second polynomial power zero so if you see in this here here if you see that the first polynomial polynomial for initially i is zero and j is zero so zero zero now you check this is a for zero is the first value this is the first value if the power this and this are same what you have to do you have to add but here it is not same so it will execute the else part now you check whether the power i which is nothing but the first polynomial is greater than this so this is not so it comes to the else part here the power is less than the p2 j so j is 0 i is 0 so it is less this is less than this so now what you have to do this will be written as written to the polynomial 3 so that is what here we are doing p2 dot tj coefficient tj is nothing but 0 0 the term of this other coefficient at the polynomial p3 la we will write uh, polynomial p3 to coefficient la then here k is also 0, j is also 0 here. So, this also power also will be written. So, after the execution of this statement, your p3, p3 will be having 10 x 3. 10 x 3. Okay. So, now, Here what happens? Okay. Now the next one is after the statement. What happens? Here now while loop executes again. Now already we have a inside uh, since we are here. See here we have uh, assigned this value. Now j value is incremented and k value is incremented so what happens j becomes after this j becomes j is equal to 1 and k is also 1 as we have added one term in p3 k is meant for p3 j is meant for uh, p2 that is polynomial 2 and i is for uh, p1 which is the polynomial first polynomial so after this your variables looks like this okay now, so it is like this. Now, uh, again the while loop go inside. Now, i is less than n1. Yes, i is 0. It is still less than 3. And j is, again, j is 1 only. It is less than n2, where n2 is 3. So, what happens? Now, you check. i value is still 0, but j value is 1, which is incremented. So, is it 0th term of p1? And one the term of P2 e power are equal. Yes, here. These two are equal. X squared, here also X squared. Now, what you have to do? You have to add the coefficient of this. According to our algorithm, what you have to do is, you have to, if both the power are equal, you are adding P1 and P2 and put it in the coefficient of P3. Say, and you write any one of the power. Either P1 power or P2. Because since both are same only, we have added. So, that you are uh, uh, adding it to the P3. So, in which case, what will be happening here? See, P3 is equal to 10. Already, we have written 10 x cube. So, now what happens? So, we have written this. Now, 10 x cube is written. 5 x squared plus 9 x squared will be added and 14 x squared. Yes. So, that will be written. Yes. Now, I just put plus. Now, here what happens after that? Till, uh, now, the i, j, K. If both the power are equal only, all the uh, all the indexes will be increased. So after this statement, what happens here? I is uh, becomes one, 
and then j becomes 2 and then k becomes 2 okay so i is in kilogram i is previously 0 and now it becomes 1 according to this algorithm it is incremented or since both are equal they are all incremented now the next while loop while loop executes while i is still less than n1 which is nothing but 3 and still j is less than n2 which is nothing but what um, is here still it is less than uh, 3 so now what happens uh, here uh, already we have incremented the i n j so now again while loop it go inside the while loop now when you go inside the while loop again now with this value we check whether i is less than s j is also less than now here you check what is the value of i and j i is 1 and j has become 2 now i is 1 j has become 2 that is starting by because index starts from 0 so it is 0 1 2 here also 0 1 2 so j i is 1 means this term j is 2 means this term now again you check whether both the power are equal yes the powers of these two are equal so what happens again you add these two terms and put it in p3 so after this what happens again p3 now you put in p3 here you add the value So what is that value? 3x plus uh, so 3x plus 5x it is 8x. Okay. Now we have placed that value, added and put it in P3. So after this, what will be the value of i j? I since both are equal, both are both powers are equal and we have added, so i will be incremented. All the three variables will be incremented. So j is incremented and then k is also incremented now here in while loop you check i is still less than n1 uh, which is nothing but 2 but what happened to the next statement j is not less than n2 j is equal to n2 so in that case this while loop breaks okay so total all these things will be break now what happens after that see here in the main pro in the program we have, we will come to this statement while i is less than p1 i is 2 and it is less than p1 dot n which is nothing but 3 so what you do whatever is in the first polynomial the remaining which is nothing but i is now i value is now 2 so here i value is whatever it is 2 it is nothing but this so that will be returned into the uh, that coefficient is returned and then its power is also returned because while getting the input we have get the power as 0 so 2 comma 0 that will be returned so after this statement after that while here yeah, we will be writing the, our p3 will be this so now j is uh, uh, what happens in the program k is incremented and j is incremented um, sorry here k is incremented because we have copied the first polynomial only so k is incremented and j is incremented so what will be that uh, i i is incremented to 3 and then k is incremented to 4 so now p3 consists of four terms 1 2 3 4 which is which is for this polynomial 3 k is for polynomial 3 and i is 3 so we have already j is over and uh, the first polynomial p1 i is also over so once it comes out 
will have all p1 p2 p3 is evaluated and we will have the addition but here j is not less than because it is equal to 3 already j is over that polynomial 2 is over so it will not execute this while loop now finally p3 dot n in the polynomial instance uh, we add the number of terms to be the k which is nothing but 4 now and then this will be returned to the main program